episode of our cooking show, we are going to be making a very berry scandy muffin. I'm so super excited to show you guys how to make this. And what I love about making this type of muffin is that you can use whatever berries that are in season. And so today I'm going to show you some berries that I am finding that are in season right now. And um, let's get started. All right, so the first thing we need for our very berry muffin is three cups of flour, half a teaspoon of salt, four teaspoons of baking powder, and one teaspoon of cinnamon. And all you need is a fork to give this a good stir. All right, this looks wonderful. Everything looks distributed evenly, and now we're gonna switch and work on our fruit. So here are four different berries that we're gonna be adding to our muffins. And to the right, we have half a cup of red currants. Next to it, we have a half a cup of red raspberries. Then we have a half a cup of blueberries. And to the left of it, we have a half a cup of red gooseberries. So let's get started working with our berries. Okay, so we're gonna combine our raspberries and red currants. And then we're gonna add about, oh, one or two teaspoons of sugar. And the reason is because the red currants are so tart. And that will help it. Now we're gonna use a fork and smash the raspberries and red currants together. Okay, so I've been pressing this and it's about done. You can see it's a beautiful uh, fruit mixture here. All right, so now let's switch to the other fruits. All right, here is our gooseberries and elderflower syrup. I'm going to add in about three tablespoons of the elderflower syrup. And I'm gonna give it one more just to make sure. I just really wanna get that lovely, lovely flavor combination of the gooseberries and elderflower syrup. And I'm gonna let the gooseberries soak into the elderflower syrup for a few minutes before we add everything together. All right, so I'm adding the blueberries into a bowl and about a tablespoon of the flour mixture and I, what I'm doing is I'm coating the berries with the flour mixture. That way when we add it into the batter, it'll help prevent the blueberries from sinking down to the bottom of the muffin. And we're gonna do the same thing with the gooseberries just before I add both the blueberries and the gooseberries into the batter as well. All right, so the next set of ingredients we're gonna combine is a half a cup of brown sugar, half a cup of white sugar, one teaspoon of lemon zest, two eggs, one teaspoon of vanilla, half a cup of oil, and one cup of plain yogurt, but you can also select vanilla yogurt if you like as well. So let's get started combining all the ingredients. All right, so I've already added the two eggs, the lemon zest, the vanilla, the yogurt, so I'm gonna give this a good mix, and then we're gonna add in our remaining ingredients. Right now I'm gonna add in the oil, and I'm gonna add in the white sugar. Now I'm gonna add in the brown sugar and it, it will definitely give it more of an amber color to the muffins. It's, it gives it a richer taste as well. So now I'm gonna add in the red currant raspberry mixture that I made earlier. Oh, the raspberries and the red currants has such a lovely smell to this. Oh, I love red currants and raspberries. All right, so now we're ready to combine our wet ingredients with the dry ingredients. And I have my spatula here. I'm just gonna scoop the flour mixture into the bowl. All right, this looks about perfect. Now we're going to add in the fruit. So I'll add in the gooseberries first, and we'll add in the blueberries that's been coated with the flour mixture as well. And then just give this a little bit of a stir. Not, we don't have to over stir this because like I said earlier, it's just gonna, it, you don't wanna over stir muffin batter. Perfect, now we're gonna start scooping this into the muffin pan. All right, our oven is preheated at 350 degrees. I already sprayed the muffin pan here with cooking spray. I've also lined these with muffin liners. We're going to use our ice cream scoop to put into in each and every one of these. All 
All right, I'm gonna get one last scoop into our muffin pan here. And then I'm going to add in some final goodies to this. Okay, so here are some almond paste slices. And we're gonna add this into each and every one of these and stick these all the way down at the bottom. Push them down as far as they can. And the final step, we're gonna put on top of each of these blueberries. And this will make the muffins pop. Now we're going to sprinkle this with a topping of sugar just to kind of give it a little crunchy on top. Wow, don't these look great? So now we're gonna stick these into our preheated oven at 350 degrees. Okay, so now I have my cup of coffee and I'm gonna try one. I can't wait. I love how these pop out, the blueberries on top, how they just kind of, you know, really stand out. Um, that's because we added the blueberries on top at the very end. So let's see. These are definitely nice and moist. Mmm. These are good. Mmm. I love the citrus taste to it. There's that hint of a little bit of the elderflower as well. And that we added the sugar on top, which kind of gives that little crunchiness on the top of the, of the muffin. I thought for fun, I, why not we slice one open so you can see how it looks. It's absolutely a stunner. Um, all right, so let's see how it looks. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is just like fantastic. And you can see that throughout the muffin, there's all this like pink color. Well, not only is it the gooseberries, but it's the raspberries and red currants that we mixed into the muffin batter as well. So I hope you guys um, enjoyed our video today. Please listen if you have any requests. Um, my mother's doing a lot of Scandinavian baking right now. Um, check up here. We have a playlist of all, a lot of our baking that we've done over the last couple years. So make sure you check out our baking playlist and um, have a great week. Skull, guys. Bye.